Hello, this is Tim Beecham, and I'd like to welcome you to Volume 1 of the Indie Filmmakers Manifesto, brought to you by AmericanaVOD.com. This issue is about indie filmmaking and distribution. When it comes to indie filmmaking, it's not surprising how many indie filmmakers out there have no real idea how distribution works. Unfortunately, the business is set up just that way. Distribution is a very non-transparent process where little or no information is provided to the filmmaker. Sure, distribution companies provide filmmakers a quarterly statement. However, it's nothing more than numbers on a page with no crucial information such as how many units have shipped and where those units were shipped to. That is very important information. But if you decide you want to go the distribution route and that's what's for you, uh, first thing you want to ask, you know, the first issue or problem that you want to solve is poor distributor feedback. Let me give you a, a real life example of that. Um, I had a vested interest in a film that received uh, domestic and international distribution. I was all geared up, ready to go on the road to promote the film and to do workshops and seminars on uh, filmmakers and marketing. But first I needed feedback to know where was I going? Who was my target audience? Where were they shipping it to? Like if I wanted to do DVD signings on the film or get some of the actors together rather to do some signings, let's say at a Blockbusters, um, I need to know if Blockbusters was the main one that was buying it. Because if uh, Best Buy was buying, why waste money and time going to Blockbusters when Best Buy was where my target audience was at? But poor distributor feedback is something that I realized that the distribution, mainstream distribution now for indie filmmakers lacked and they were it just sucked all the way across the board now keep in mind when I'm doing these series uh, not just this series but all of the series these are questions and things brought up from surveys that were put out to filmmakers and emails that we receive and uh, things that we personally experience I'm not in any way shape or form trying to bash anybody but the truth is the truth and I don't want to say anything um, on filmmakers or a particular filmmaker or distributor without giving them a chance to rebut to what I have to say or to at least explain their side of the story. And saying that, I'm going to move on and it'll make perfect sense in a moment. 